Good morning, everyone. KidMax Live is about to start. Parents, I hope you've had an awesome week with your kids. It's so great that summer has finally shown up. So hopefully you've gotten a chance to go outside and enjoy that. Just wanted to remind you before we get going here that if you need links to our activities for this week in KidMax, you can find all of that on the parent blog. I'd also encourage you to give us a follow on Instagram if you want to see pictures of what other kids are doing. Uh, we post some table talk ideas on there as well for you to do with your kids during the week if you want. And finally, if you want to send us pictures of what you're doing, at home. We'd love to see it. Maybe you're getting outside in that summer weather already. You can email those to us at kidmax at themeetinghouse.com. That's all for me. I hope you enjoy this week's episode of Kidmax Live. Hi friends, Alyssa here. Welcome to another week of KidMax Live. I hope you had a great week, got outside and enjoyed some sunshine and are still having a ton of fun at home, even though we can't be gathering like we normally would for church and KidMax. And I know for a fact that a bunch of you had a really great time this week because you sent us pictures of the crafts and activities you got up to this week. Here are a few right now. You did such an awesome job. I'm so excited to see all these photos. And you'll have to wait till the end of KidMax Live today when we're gonna show you all the rest of the photos you've sent in. You did a great job. All right, preschool friends, here's what we're up to this week for KidMax. Now, can any of you remember what this month's big idea is? The big idea for this month is the Holy Spirit helps us. And to hear more about that, we're gonna send it over to Joe, who's gonna read our story for us this week. Over to you, Joe. Hello friends, my name's Joe from Tiny Trees, and I'm really excited that today I get to join you for a story and I'm gonna read you a story from our Tiny Trees Bible. Today's story is called The Holy Spirit. So I hope that you're comfy and cozy, you're all snuggled up and ready to listen to our story. Should we get started? The Holy Spirit. Jesus spent a few more days with his disciples, but he knew that it would soon be time for him to leave them. One day, as they were sharing a meal, he told them, don't leave Jerusalem yet, because God has a special gift for you, a gift that you will need once I am gone. With this gift, you will be able to go and tell everyone about me, here in Jerusalem and everywhere in the world. And you'll know that I'm still with you because of it. It was finally time for Jesus to leave his friends. He had finished everything he'd come to do, as his disciples gathered around him, Jesus was taken up into the sky until he was hidden by the clouds. Suddenly, two men dressed in white appeared to the disciples. One day, they said, you will see Jesus again. He will come back. After Jesus had gone, the disciples spent lots of time together talking about Jesus and waiting for the gift that he'd promised to give them. What would it be? Not long afterwards, they were together in a home when they heard a sound like a strong rushing wind. It was so loud that it filled the whole house. They looked at one another in surprise and saw flames of fire above their heads. What was happening? Jesus was keeping his promise. God was using the fire and the wind to show them that his spirit had come and would always be with them. The Holy Spirit would be their helper, their comforter, and their guide, just as Jesus had been. At that time, people were visiting Jerusalem from all over the world. A large crowd heard the noise and excitement and came to see what was happening. Do you remember Jesus who died? Peter asked them. He's alive. He is the new king you were waiting for. Now he has given us a gift, his Holy Spirit. If you ask God for his forgiveness, he will give you the very same gift. On that day, hundreds of people decided that they too wanted to live life with God, to live the way he had made them to live. These new followers of Jesus learned together, ate meals together, loved each other and shared everything they had. When people needed help, they helped. When someone needed money, they sold their belongings and gave their money away. And every day, they thanked God for everything he'd done for them. This was the first church. Well, my friends, that is the end of our story for today. But thank you so much for joining us. 
and hope to see you again soon. Wow, I love that story and hearing about how the people shared their meals and everything that they had together. That's awesome. Now, this week's craft is a really exciting one. We're making a wreath out of a paper plate and the Chu family is gonna show us how to do it. So we're gonna send it over to them. Good morning, friends. We're the Chu family. This morning, we're gonna share with you how we made this week's Kid Max craft. This, this week's craft is a super cool wreath that talks about how the Holy Spirit helps us. To start off, you'll need a paper plate, some scissors, glue, some markers or crayons to color, some string, we had some extra yarn lying around the house, and the Kid Max handouts that can be found online. Our first step was to cut out the center of the plate to make it look a little bit more like a wreath. We had a bit of a tricky time though because our plates were super thick. So we ended up using a piece of paper and tracing two bowls of different sizes to make it look like a wreath like this. To cut the center out, to make it a bit easier, it was easier to fold the paper in half and then cut the paper like that in order to make a small hole in order to get our scissors inside. And then we traced along with our scissors in order to cut out the circle. Next, we cut out our Kid Max handout and we colored the different drawings. Next, we took the string and we taped it onto the wreath so we had something to hang the wreath with. When we were done our coloring, we then glued our shapes onto the wreath like this. And that's it. Hopefully you have as much fun as we did making this week's craft. Bye. Bye. Awesome job, friends. Thank you so much, Chu family, for showing us how to do this week's craft. And I can't wait to see how all of your crafts turn out. So don't forget to take a picture and send it in to us at kidmax at themeetinghouse.com. Okay, grades one to five, friends. Here's what we're up to this week. Our big idea for this week is following Jesus means we're part of the church family. And in our God story, we're gonna see how Paul showed both Jews and Gentiles that they are part of one church family. And church family can be such a huge blessing in our lives. And for our life story, our friend Natalie invited us to take a peek at life with her family at home and also her family at church. So let's check it out. I love spending time with my family. I love cooking with my family. And sometimes me and my sister make a whole meal for all of us. Being in a small group means for me that I have a group of girls of my age that I can really connect with through Jesus. Sometimes we just have fun and play games, but sometimes we just talk seriously about things that we've experienced. Natalie and her small group had such a fun time together. And even though we can't be physically together with our small groups right now, we can still do an awesome small group activity. So this week, we're writing letters to someone in our church community that we miss. So think of someone right now that you miss from your church community, maybe a friend, a small group leader, a pastor. And this week, you're gonna write a letter to them and let them know you miss them, you're praying for them, and you can't wait until you can see them again. Speaking of family, let's talk about our Indigenous neighbors here in Ontario. These neighbors have asked Mennonite Central Committee, or MCC, for supplies so that they can stay healthy during COVID-19. These are supplies that we can get much easier where we live, but it's much more difficult for them to get where they live. And so our church is going to help MCC put together kits for these communities that include things like face cloths, face masks, soap, and hand sanitizer. I think this is such an awesome way that we can be showing love to our neighbors during this time where I'm sure you're noticing a lot of people are in really difficult situations because of COVID-19. That's all we have for Kid Max Live today. I hope you had a ton of fun. I know I did. And next up is music time. So make sure you sing along with your family. And then during teaching time that comes after that, make sure you keep working on your craft or see if you can learn one new thing as you listen with your parents. And as promised, here are the rest of the photos that you sent in throughout this week. And we can't wait to see you next week for another episode of Kid Max Live. Bye. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit.
Holy Spirit, lead the way. 